it's Kristen and it's time for my next installment of Four Looks One Palette. If you are new to my channel, first of all, welcome. And second of all, I have roughly 22, something like that, I'll have a playlist below if you're interested, Four Looks One Palette's video. And that is simply where I, Four Looks One Palette, <laughs> where I take a palette and for four straight days I create an eye look out of it and I filmed that for you and put it all into one video and that's what this is. So I had promised this one a little by, while back so I'm happy to be getting to it. Th this is kind of just a little shot of what the colors are. At the end of these videos I always will give you swatches of all of the shades that are in here. As a sort of bonus for this one it has three eye and lip, no, three cheek and lip colors down here. I love this, by the way. I'm sure I'll talk about that at the end of the week. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started with the first look today. Um, first, what I did was I laid down in my crease this C4, which is uh, burgundy. It definitely has some glitter in it, but that sort of dissipates as I used it with a really fluffy MAC 224 brush. All over my lid, I used A1, which is that beautiful taupe right there. Come on, you knew that was going to happen, right? To deepen things up a little bit in the outer corner, I used B4. And then I took this really pretty kind of olive khaki green, which is D4, beneath my lash line. I have the Chanel Stilo and Espresso on my upper waterline, as well as my upper lash line. I think, oh, and I have B1, which I probably will do every day, as my brow bone highlight. So I'll zoom you in. Okay, so here's the look. Okay, for cheeks today, I use this middle one in First Officer. There's some serious pigment to that. So when I put it on, it was like holy moly blush face. So I toned it down a little bit with my, I just used the brush that I had applied, my Smashbox Halo Powder with no more powder on it. I just kind of went over it and that calmed things down just a little bit. And then on my lips, I used that same color. I used the First Officer on my lips. It looks very different on my lips than it does on my cheeks. But then over the top of that, I used my MAC Lip Glass in Purr. Not sure if everybody probably knows about that one. And that is it. For my second look, I went ahead and used B2, which is that really pretty kind of aqua color all over my lid. I laid down the Kat Von D liner in Igasm, which is this really pretty sort of tealy green color. And then over the top of that I used C2. And then I brought C2 up a little bit in the outer corner and just brought it in the littlest bit. You'll see better when I zoom you in. And then in my crease I used this D Three. It's a really, it's like a champagne kind of gold shade. It looks darker in the pan than it does when it applies. And I just use that really lightly on a fluffy brush on the outer, or on the top of my crease there. So, and then I just tight lined a little bit with Chanel Espresso. And I brought, oh, I did bring B3 right here, just a little bit underneath my lash line. I like to have just a little bit of color there before I put down mascara. So I'll zoom you in. Here's the look. For blush today, I used this shade in Captain right here, and this does, well, I'll talk about more at the end, but, um, and then again, I used the same, I used my brush that I applied my Smashbox Halo Powder over the top of that to just set it and tone it down just a little bit, and then on my lips today, I used MAC Gem of Roses. My third look today was kind of a little bit of a work in progress. I, I knew I wanted to use the purple one, which is A2. So I ended up using that one in the outer sort of two thirds. And then for inner corner, I didn't, there just wasn't a color I really liked on its own. So I kind of mixed D2 and A3 sort of together. I didn't, at first I put D2 on and I was like, hmm, it's just not quite right. So I put a little A3 on top of it and then one thing I'll talk about at the end is the lack of dark colors really, but at any rate, so to deepen things up a little bit because this purple doesn't come off quite as dark as it looks in the pan, so to deepen things up a little bit I used A4, which is a sparkly black, but I was able to, to work with it and not have it look like a whole bunch of sparkle. So brow bone I used B1 again. I took A2 down beneath my lash line and then I took this black sparkly again on the outer corner just to add some dimension to that. 
And in the crease, I just used a little bit of C3 just to kind of transition things and, you know, make it a little smoother. So I'll zoom you in. So here's the look. For liner today, I'm just using the Chanel Stilo, Waterproof Stilo in um, Abine, number 10. Upper waterline, upper lash line, nothing too crazy there. And for blush today, I have the Physician's Formula in Rosy Glow. And then on my lips, I have MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. And then I have Cream Cup over the top of that. Okay, for the fourth and final look, I used D3 all over my lid. I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a smoky with a deeper lip today, so went with D3. I used C3 right here into the crease just to kind of transition out. I used B1 as my brow bone highlight, and then to deepen everything up, I used B4, and I used that B4 underneath my lash line as well. I'll go ahead and show you my liner before I zoom in. It's nothing crazy. It's just the Avon Super Shock black liner. So I tight lined, so I lined my upper waterline, lined my lower waterline, and then before the lower waterline dried, I kind of smudged this all over it. So it just really kind of blended together. Picked up a little bit of the black, that sort of thing. I used B4 just on my upper lash line as well to add a little definition. I didn't want a, like a super stark line up there today. And then I took just a little bit of C3 as well beneath my lower lash line. Just transition that kind of smoky out and make it a little bit more smoky. So I'll zoom you in. Here's the look. On my cheeks today, I actually mixed two Camp Cosmetics blushes. I mixed Uninhibited, which is right here, with Nouveau right there. Mixed those two together. And then on my lips, this is the lip that I was wearing um, in my Instagram post from last weekend that you guys all <laughs> liked so much. Thank you so much. Um, where I had a smoky eye and I was wearing that kind of tweed blazer. Anyway, Milani's Lip Liner in Brandy. And then over the top of it, I have Camp Cosmetics Lip Lava in Trist. This is really a must-have, in my opinion. So that is the look. I'm going to go ahead now and give you swatches of all of the shades in this palette. I'm going to start from the bottom row and work my way up, just because those shades are a little bit darker and I don't want my fingers to. So this is A1. Actually, I'm going to hold these back here. I think the coloring will be a little bit better. B1, C1, and D1. So A1, B1, C1, and D1. A2, B2, C3, nope, C2, they're all twos, Kristen, and D2. So A2, B2, C2, and D2. I feel like I'm on a Star Wars movie. A3, B3, C3, and D3. A3, B3, C3, and D3. And the final row is A4. B4, C4, and D4. So A4, B4, C4, and D4. So there are blush shades, and again, we'll talk about that in a minute, but I want to give you swatches. Second officer, first officer, and captain. So this is second officer, first officer, and captain. So second officer, first officer, and captain. There. And then I'm just going to... Just blend them out a little bit. I have a little bit too much of First Officer probably to blend, but I just want you to kind of see that's kind of what they are a little bit blended out. Okay, so let's talk about the palette just a little bit. I'm sticking it back in here. It does, when it comes to, come in this kind of cardboard sleeve that I saved to show you guys. And the, the back of it says the same thing as this, so it's definitely not necessary to keep, but I just wanted to show you guys that. It is super cute packaging. The balm always has really nice packaging. I, I, their creative team, I think, does a really nice job with that. Um, this sells for sure on their website for $42.50. I looked that up quickly. And I think the balm is being sold at Kohl's now and a bunch of different places. I'll try to maybe give you multiple links below in case you don't want to purchase it at a certain place or something, whatever. But... Um, I woke up this morning, it's Friday morning, I woke up this morning to an email saying I think that the balm was going to be on Holt Look today. So um, 
today, Friday the 12th. So you're watching this on Saturday the 13th. It probably is still, if it's not sold out, if they, they don't always have it. And, and you know when you get the email, you don't know what they're going to be selling. But So just check Holt Look um, to see if they have if they still have this one or if they offered it this time. But frequently, whenever stuff from the Balm is on Holt Look, it's basically 50% off. So just keep an eye out for that because I that's how I bought this for 50% off. Well worth every penny of, what, $21? Totally worth that. So when you open it up, it's got a cute little um, mirror. It is a normal mirror, but it's pretty tiny. And then it has just some kind of cute things there. So um, as you saw, it has 16 shades within the palette. Of the 16 shades in the palette, four of them are matte. B1, which is a really nice cream shade. I use this every day as my brow bone highlight, and I also used it um, some days like just all over the lid to give myself a clean canvas and easier blending. I, I do that almost every single day, whether I'm using this palette or something else. Um, I actually, what's funny is that I counted C2 as a matte because that's definitely how it comes off, but I'm not sure if you can see there's a little bit of sparkle in there, but you don't see that. So just kind of a, an FYI. Um, B3, which is a nice trans cool transition, and then C3. It's another transition color. So the shades all at the top of this have a little bit of glitter to them. There are a few other ones that have some glitter. Some have some sheen, and you probably saw that a little bit better in the swatches. These blend very well. They're very nice. Some of them are longer wearing than others. For instance, B2, I found that that one creased very quickly for me, but some of the other shades looked perfect at the end of the day as they did at the beginning of the day for me. So I think the, the shades are just a little bit hit or miss. What I think is missing from this is what I think is missing from a lot of palettes is a deep matte brown. Um, deep colors in general are, are missing. I think that I kind of, you know, made it work with these two shades right here, but I think I would have liked to have seen something a little more deep and matte. Just that's just my opinion. And I do like I generally am not a fan of cream products in with my eyeshadows at all. I do like that there's a little thing here to to protect those, which is why I actually went ahead and purchased this when I bought it off Holt Look. Um these are lip and cheek stains. I liked them very much. As a they worked well over my Smashbox Halo powder. I'll tell you everything I wore the rest of the video, by the way, at the end. Um, I used my e.l.f. stipple brush for that, and I would, I had my normal base down that I always have down. I would stipple this on, blend it out a little bit, and then as I said in the video, I would take the brush that I had applied my powder with, which was just my Sephora 55. I didn't put any more powder on it. I just kind of blended it out, and I think that helped it stay in place, and it also toned it down just a little bit, made it blend a little better. So I actually really like those. Um, I think you're hard-pressed to find a cream blush or a cream product that will work over powder products that have been applied, so I was I really appreciated that. I did not, and I did not use this one, by the way, the red one, I didn't use that. I did not, however, like these on my lips at all. I think I only did the first day where I had First Officer on my lips. Um, it's very drying, A, and B, I, I leave. I'm not going to take this whole palette with me just so that I can reapply my, <laughs> I mean, if I'm being very honest, I'm not going to take the whole palette with me to reapply my lip product. But I wanted to try it at least one day so that I could tell you guys. I found it just to be very drying on my lips, so I, I didn't and wouldn't do that again. But I do think this, this palette is, is good um, value for money at half price. I don't know that I would that I would suggest paying full price for it, only because I, it's not, a, in my opinion, while I was able to get for for looks from it, it's just missing a few things. Though I could stick in a single um, brown matte color, which I do frequently anyway, but I don't know. I don't know. It seems like, I, I think, like I said, I think it's a really good value for money at half price. Um, even two-thirds of the price I'd probably pay, but it just seems like a little bit, I don't know. You guys have to let me know what you think. I, I'm curious what your opinions are on this particular palette. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, I will tell you everything that I was wearing on the rest of my face. I'll list it below. But whenever I do these, I keep my base the same throughout the whole video. So for primer, I'm using the, this is my last one, of the Guerlain Les Le Ors. Les, Les Ors. Um, and the Guerlain BB Cream. And I'm in light. And then over the top of that, as I said, I'm using my Smashbox Halo Powder in light for some contour i was using my camp cosmetics 
in monogamy, which I just have put in my little Tarte palette so that I can just grab it quickly since I use it every day. And then for bronzer, I've been using the It Cosmetics Radiant Ombre Bronzer. And I can see what people were talking about, that it's starting to break through a little bit of the um, shimmery. won't always be there. And for mascara, I think that's the last thing that I used. I was actually using the Camp Cosmetics Mascara in Voodoo which I will talk about in my mascara band that's coming up at the end of the quarter. So I feel like this was the last one that I had promised. Um, by the way, I have a playlist that I will link below of all the other palettes that I have done. So I'm trying to decide which will be the next one that I do. And I'm a little bit torn between, I do have the Coastal Scents Revealed 1 and 2. I've actually not used either one of these. Um, or the Stila in the No. So let me know below if you have an opinion on which of the three of these you would like to see or if you just want to see either one of these and you don't care which one, you just want that, whatever. So I'm curious your feedback below, let me know. And I think that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're having a great day and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.